A strain gauge by itself acts like a variable resistor whose value changes when the strain gauge sees deflection or deformation. But since strain-induced resistance changes are extremely small, the best way to capture those changes is by using a Wheatstone bridge circuit, where we can capture the change in resistance as a function of change in voltage. So here we have a simple diagram of a Wheatstone bridge circuit consisting of one power source, three precision resistors, namely R1, R2, and R3, and one variable resistor, namely RG, which also acts as your strain gauge. Now, when you measure the voltage between point B and the negative side of your power source and point D and the negative side of your power source, if they are the same, it means that you have a balanced Wheatstone bridge. Now, to have a balanced bridge, the ratio of R1 over R3 should be exactly equal to the ratio of R2 over RG. Now, since RG is your variable resistor indicated by your strain gauge, any change in resistance in RG will throw the bridge out of balance. And the voltage that is measured across points B and D is directly proportional to the change in resistance that the strain gauge sees. 